How you doing, guys? Uh, those among you who really pay attention to details will notice this is the same lighting setup as the last video and the same shirt. Uh, that is because of me trying to shoot multiple videos a day. And we'll get into that in the next video. But today, we're going to talk about, as you might have guessed, tape. You cannot travel with too much tape. Um, I used to make a joke, what's the difference between gaff tape and duct tape? And the joke was about $20. There's actually quite a few differences. There's a reason gaffer tape is more useful than duct tape on a set. I don't have my gaff tape with me. It's down in my power box. Um, gaff tape will stick but leave less residue, I believe, than duct tape. Duct tape will destroy things you stick it to. Gaff tape is also black, not reflective, so it won't show up as much as duct tape. Um, it does cost quite a bit more, but you'll find yourself using it um, when you need to, and it is something you should have in your kit. When we go over my kit, you'll see I have it in there. It's something you want to have with you whenever you're doing, especially a pro shoot. You do not want to use duct tape on professional shoots um, unless it is absolutely what it's called for, which will occasionally be the case. So what I have here today is blue tape, right, painter's tape, and duct tape. This I use for a couple of things. One, if you see my studio downstairs, you know that I've got a green paper wall and then a blue screen painted wall. I use this to cover certain things on the blue wall. Uh, so it's fantastic for quick repairs on scratches in the wall. Um, when I put my blue flooring down, this is how I cover the seams. Uh, because it's a painter's tape, it theoretically won't peel tape off the wall, so you can use it, take it off, and you don't need it. Um, we use it to cover the brackets that actually hold up the green screen. Um, you can put it over outlets that may be inside the wall. If you have to plug something into the wall, you can cover the plug and make it blue to match in. Um, so with the blue screen, very useful. Now, on a location, duct tape is for repairs and things you need to make stick. Gaff tape and when really you need to be safe, painter's tape, or for when you need things to stick, but you need to protect the surface. Okay, so when you're shooting at somebody else's house, you do not use duct tape on their wooden floor. You do not use duct tape on their painted surface. You don't use duct tape on their wallpaper. You don't use duct tape. I mean, if you're fixing your own equipment, fine. But don't stick this stuff to people's furniture or walls or anything. And if you can, always test this first. And still be careful taking it off. It will occasionally, if it's been left up there too much or under the heat of a lamp, the glue will dry to a point where it will peel paint right off of the wall or leave a residue on furniture or do some kind of damage. So still be careful with this, but always have this with you so you can stick things to things that you need to be careful not to damage. Does that all make sense? If anyone has any comments on gaff tape, I'd love to hear them because I have it, I use it, but I don't know enough about it, right? Um, we do want to do more Amazon Video Direct videos, but again, I'm waiting on questions from you guys. Um, I have noticed greatly that our income from the videos starts to go down this time of year, December, January, and February. I believe that's because people are busy during Christmas, and I believe it's because they watch more Christmas movies. I also think it's because people have a tendency now to be buying things, and so since they're buying, they're not renting or watching as much um, as much stuff that they're, you know, just kind of, what is it, subscribed to. That was wonderful, and I completely forgot what my words were. So they're not watching subscribe stuff as much. What gets me is, I did figure more people would take advantage of the, the free 30-day subscription, and so they'd have access to our movies on Amazon Prime, and so I thought they'd be watching it more. But really, our numbers drop this time of year, like, I was going to say clockwork, like every year. We've only been up two Decembers, so, you know, it's only happened, this is only the second time it's happening, and it's not happening as drastically so far. Let's hope that stick, that, that stick keeps up, sticks around. Um, but let me know what your experiences are with that, too, how your numbers go. So I was discussing that with someone else in the comments earlier in the week. Um, so I'd love to hear from more of you. Please do spread the word about our videos. Let other people know. Do subscribe. Um, let us know what you want to see. If you've got a product you'd like us to test, let me know. I'll tell you how to send it to me. Um, we're always looking for new cameras to try out, new lenses to try out. Um, I'm hoping to shoot a whole lot in 2018, um, but aren't we always hoping to shoot a whole lot? Uh, and to that end, the next video is going to be about scheduling, and it's going to be about scheduling so that you can find out stuff and so that I can kind of straighten it out in my head.
I don't know if you guys notice, but a lot of the times I'm talking here, I'm thinking as I'm talking. And um, I remind myself of things that I've already known. But I don't always think about it. So next video up, scheduling. We'll see you soon.